Keeping up with the Joneses. Whether you've heard of this phrase or not, today we will be discussing how keeping up with the Joneses can be a detriment to your finances, your relationships, and more. Let's talk about it. So I don't know if y'all know about that family, the Joneses, but we talking about them today. We talking about the Joneses. <laughs> we talking about the Joneses. <laughs> so if you haven't heard of keeping up with the Joneses, it basically means trying to keep up with your actual neighbors, mm -hmm. your peers, your friend group. It also means trying to keep up with societal norms too. Yeah. So let's paint a scenario. For example, we're the Yambors, but let's say our neighbor, the Joneses, they up and decide to get a boat. They talk about this boat and they say to you, hmm, why don't you have a boat? Right. Then you may start thinking or we may start thinking as a couple like, well, dang, the Jones has got a boat. Maybe we should get a boat. Are we missing out? Right. Why, why don't we have a boat? Right. So that's basically what the Joneses is. And it goes for anything. When it, I mean, it could be a boat, like she's saying, the jacuzzi in the backyard, mm -hmm. a nice new car. Yeah. And then you start to look at it like, man. I need to keep up. Right. I need I need to I need to be on their level mm -hmm. or I need to surpass their level. Yeah. But the thing about it is we don't want you to do keeping up with the Joneses mentality because it can run you into a hole. It can yeah. run you into financial hardships. And also it's not about other people. Yeah. It's about your own happiness and what brings you and your spouse, you and your partner happiness together yeah. it's not about anybody else yep and not only that you know it's nothing wrong with looking at the joneses for inspiration maybe per se but you have to live within your means you right. have to do what works for your relationship so you just have to make sure you're doing what works best for your relationship and not because you're comparing yourself to other relationships that's key and I think she hit on the key word, comparing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what the whole keeping up with the Joneses is, mm -hmm. is really all about. Yeah. It's about comparing yourself to others, mm -hmm. comparing yourself to your neighbors, mm -hmm. to your peers, yeah. to maybe even family members, uh, trying to compare yourself to societal norms like we right. mentioned, yeah. trying to say, oh, okay, well, now I'm 30 years old. I've got to have this and this and this. Mm -hmm. Or now I'm 40 years old and i got to have this and this and this. And if I don't, then I'm a failure. But you shouldn't look at it like that. So ultimately, it's not about comparison. Don't compare yourself to others and don't look at other people's situations and think, oh, I've got to have that too. Yeah. Now, it can serve as motivation, but ultimately you have to do what makes you happy, makes you and your partner yeah. happy in your relationship. AKA, and, oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say AKA and it's so it's so interesting that you said do what makes you and your partner happy aka run your own race you mm. know run your own race i know it is very easy to fall into the pressures of societal norms per se but just focus on you and your relationship and what works best for you and that kind of gets me to the point about the social norms when we look on social media nowadays there's so much pressure being put on people because mm -hmm. they're looking at people on social media and saying dang i want that too or mm -hmm. i, I want to have more than that mm -hmm. yeah yeah i agree so i have a question for you do you feel like <laughs> we'll take that sip uh, <laughs> do you have you ever felt like we needed to keep up with the joneses oh man great question i say that we've always run our own race yeah and i feel like throughout all of our 20s it's a very easy decade for you to get caught up in this keeping with the joneses mm -hmm. mentality mm -hmm. and trying to be somebody you're not or yeah. or trying to keep up with somebody that you're not mm -hmm. we never did that from 20 to 30 years old we ran our own race we stayed patient within our relationship yeah i mean i think throughout our entire relationship mm -hmm. we have just considered our own happiness yeah. over societal pressures or family pressure. Yeah, and yeah, of course. And I get that, you know, it's hard. But as we mentioned earlier, it seriously can if, it, you know, and there may be times where it does happen, you know, but it shouldn't be a continuous pattern. Right. Because as we mentioned, it can have an effect in a negative way on your relationships um, financially. 
um, and in other aspects of your life as well. You know, keeping up with the Joneses, depending on who your Joneses is, is not cheap, you know? So if you don't have the financial means, but you're trying to portray a life that you have the financial means, you're not going in a path to financial freedom and financial peace. You're actually kind of uh, going in the opposite direction and could be racking up more debt, you mm. know, um, could be slowing you down from your goals. So, you know, when we say these things, we just want to stress that it, it can affect you in so many ways. And so definitely just be mindful of it. And that's actually a really good point. I know for us in particular, we live here in downtown Miami and it can get really flashy in this mm -hmm. city where you've got nice cars and big yachts rolling by. Mm -hmm. And if we were to run into this keeping up with the Joneses mentality, we would want to go out, get a boat, get a yacht. And yes, that that will come in time. Yeah. But we're staying disciplined, staying consistent. Yeah, because it's like, are, are you doing things that truly serve you sometimes, right. you know? And that kind of brings me to my last point, which is keeping up with the Joneses. We don't want you to keep up even with us. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's not about keeping up with us or in vice versa. Yeah. We don't keep up with anybody else. Yeah. We run our own race. We have our own type of dynamic that mm -hmm. works for us yeah. and makes us happy individually and together. Yep. And whether people show it or not, and also with us, at the end of the day, we're all a work in progress. Right. So doesn't matter what you see socially or what you see online or even when you're out at a restaurant with people sometimes. At the end of the day, everyone is a work in progress and everyone is together individually in the relationship all have things that they're working on outside of what you can see so just also keep that in mind too when you feel the need to compare yourself to other people right moral of the story is run your own race yeah that's what's going to keep you happy and keep you satisfied throughout your life and don't compare yourself to others yep do you do you, boo-boo. Do you, boo Don't worry about them Joneses. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, obviously, we're keeping it on a lighter note today because we want you to run your own race. Moral of the story there.